Hi everyone, it's Matt and Peter. Yes. Peter had a mulligan to six, and he's on the play. Yes. And I didn't mulligan at all, so. We'll yeah. see how this goes. Yeah, I'm gonna lose the the mirror match. Also, all right, I'll say. Yeah. I have not played this deck at all before, so. And I just I figured out that I'm pretty much always gonna need that on blue. Summerfolk so Wind Robber. What is this? And then I'll pass. Ah, I see. Okay. Um, on your end step, I'm gonna tap. Spectral Sailor. How'd you know? Your, your turn. Okay. Okay. Uh, tap or just play Island, and I'm going to uh, tap two for Supreme Phantom. Swing at you for two. Eighteen. All set. Yep. So is, is this a card people usually play in this deck? Or in the spirits decks? No. It's not a spirit. I know. I was just like, <laughs> huh. Is it? Mm. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. I thought you had my coast. Is that a pain land? Yeah. Blue colorless. Silver Gale okay. Adept, and I will reveal. Like that. Yeah. I missed mine. I'll just play Okay. <laughs> so my additional cost is revealing this card. Yep. If you want to read that. So that enters. Oh, card. I see. I'll go to 22. Did you tell me this was wow. a spirits deck? I did. I told you it was Bant spirits. And I don't know, man. This looks like Bant Merfolk. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got Bamboozled. Uh, let's see. And I'll pass. Bamboozle, I love that word. Uh, I'm just gonna pass. Okay, not even a land drop? No, we're missing land drops. Excellent, excellent. That's what I like to hear. Uh, I'm gonna shock that in. I was surprised you didn't flash something out last What a shocking in. Uh, oh, got it. Yeah. And I'm going to blue and green. Got it. Play the mist binder that you know about. Oh, they're more focused. Plus one, plus one. I'm going to kick Blood Chief Steps. Mm. Yeah, got a slight snare that. And. Shacklegeist, and I'm gonna swing at you. Mm, hold on. Are these both flyers? Or no, this flies. This okay. Not. I'm gonna swing at you for three. Sure. Thirteen. Yep. And pass. Can I read that? Oh, the guy slicer? Yeah. yeah, go ahead. I feel like you might have something for this, but I'll try it. I'm going to play... Okay, so it costs two right now. Yep. Name the first born on my guy. Yes. What is the name where you can... Yeah, if it's under three mana, untap it, then it gets taste. Yeah. Take control of my guy. And then... Green, blue. Got it. Mistbinder. All right. Three, four, five damage. Green, 12. Got it. Miss Minder. Ooh. And then second Jeez. Phase, All right. I'm going to play um, right side your Spectral Sailor. So this is a 3-3, three, three, so and this is 4-4. Four, four. Mm -hmm. No, 4-3. Okay. 4-3. Four, three. Four, three. All right. Uh, I'm going to okay. tap Flash and Spectral Sailor, and I'm going to tap this. Yep, one card. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't 
grow very well. I'm trying to do the math. Uh, I don't think I have good attacks. Alright. Three threes, four threes, four threes. You have a flash creature. You have a lord on dead on the cry of battle. I'll pass. Okay. Uh, guess I'll just tap two of these. And then my turn. Yep. And on my end step, I'm going to tap for draw a card. You mean my end step? Yeah, your end step. Yep. Yes. And then proceed. Yes. Ascendant Spirit? Mm -hmm. Okay. And... Oh, yeah. I'm gonna swing... Back you for two, four, seven. Those three? Yep. Phantom cell back? Yep. Company? Collected company. Nice, nice. I assume. Yep. Two, three, four, five, six. I think I'm actually gonna ballistic at my second base. Just so I can draw a card. Ooh. Kamina and Harbinger of the Tides. Got it. This enters in our turn. Uh, Shacklegeist to your hand. Okay. Um, I don't have a flyer to block, so I'm taking four. Yes. All right. Uh, second main phase. The tap to play Shackle Guys back up here. <laughs> and I pass. I'm going to activate tap three, Merfolk, and draw a card. Yep. Go to my turn. Yep. It's a big board. Silvergill Adept, or Reveal of Wind Robber. Okay. And, uh, res resolves, I assume? Yep. Draw card. No, but on your turn you could evolve it oh, potentially yeah. twice. Uh, I was like the spectral sailor yeah. in your time. YOLO. Okay. Uh well hold up. I was gonna tap Big something picture, before. Beginning of combat. Yeah. Uh so how much is this? 
So that's a three, three, four, three, four, six, four, four, three, 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 three. Got it. And I just played that, so I can't attack yet. And I revealed this wind robber in my hand. Yeah. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna. This is a what? A four six? Right? Correct. I mean, I'm just. I guess I'll. Hmm. Hold on. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna tap that. Okay. Yep. Declare attackers. Alright. Uh, block. It's a 3 3, right? Correct. Hold on. Okay, 3 3. Oh, yeah. Second, I can yeah. only block. Yep. Yep. So you'll take 3 3 4. So that's 10 and 4 is 14. Yep. Yeah, let's go to six. <laughs> uh, we trade here. Yep. Second main. Play the wind robber. Yep. And play a branch walker. When it enters, it explores. Yep. Real top card. Um, I'll bin that. And it gets a pin. Got it. Am I dead? Don't want to. Six, seven, eight. Yeah, if you pump it. Oh, wait, no, I can block that. Because it doesn't fly, right? Correct. So let's fuck it in here. Alright. Uh, play face this haven. Turn too late. Actually, yeah. it wouldn't have mattered because I have enough blockers at this point. Let's see, how many? You just have the three? Yeah. So I'll do this, make it easier. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and the, this is the only flyer, right? Correct. Flying ground. We'll do that. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I think that's probably game. Uh, well, like, if I don't do something this turn, I kind of just lose. Right. Yeah, I have way more attackers than you have blockers. Yeah. I don't think there's anything I can do to be honest. Just for, like, the card draw, too. Hmm. And you did it. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm trying to think. I'll I'll just go with the play to see yeah. how this goes out. Just play shackle guys. <laughs> and I imagine you run four copies of collective Even if I swing like even if I like tap this, it's I, I'm only doing four damage, right. so like yeah, that's just game. Yeah, and I'm thinking if like if you activate the Haven and use that as a tapper like this, then you still only get in for five, right? Yeah, I don't even have enough. Memory. Oh, and you wouldn't even be able to do that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Go next. Probably should have held on to Geist Snare for Collected Company because I. You didn't see it coming though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a very, very strong card. I'm not used to being in the game. Yeah. I haven't played against it enough, I guess. Yeah. And, I mean, you can assume that I'm splashing green for it, basically, but... Yeah. Merfolk Tribal, that's pretty cool. I'm missing side. <laughs> totally um, missing side. No, I guess I just didn't put any mystical disputes in my sideboard. That was smart. I thought I did. Two 
Yeah, I feel like giving you the first turn would be detrimental. There was like 25 cards I wanted in the sideboard. Jeez. I was surprised to see the spell color so late because I figured I would have seen them on scene day. I thought I put in two mystical disputes, but I guess I didn't. I'm liking mono blue spirits a lot so far. Seems like an interesting. Yeah, I mean, the mana base is consistent. It's what won our uh, RCQ actually. I wasn't sure if that was mono blue spirit. It would, it would be nuts if you could just pick cards from like now I don't want any of these. Is Geislate Snare like a reprint? Like the the one from Innistrad? No, I think that's the only time it's been printed. Oh. It's a pretty strong yeah, card. It is. Yeah, it's a good card. I don't know if you have an enchantment to make it cost one. Um, oh, the um, the Ascendant Spirit's an enchantment? No. No? Um, I mean, I guess I'll say, but yeah, I run a oh, Curious Curio. Obsession. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Um, I think some people run Combat Research too, but it's just Curious Obsession, but a little worse. Yeah. That's the new print, right? The one that's if it's legendary. Yeah. Oh, should I count cards after sideboarding? No. I mean, it's easier to count your sideboard. Make sure there's 15 in that, but... That's true. Um, I'm just doing this because I'm superstitious. <laughs> superstitious? Yep. What do you I'm really good at clumping lands. So I feel like when I do this, they don't clump as well. Or as much. As well. You don't really want them to clump, so it's not well when they do, right? Yeah. I've been having that issue a lot of clumped lands where I'll either like get mana screwed. Like your first hand, six lands. Yeah. Yeah, I either get mana flooded or mana screwed and it like happens every game. So it's like one of one of those two every game. I was gold fishing this last night and I kept drawing too many lands and there was 23 in the deck. And people that like math, the average CMC was 2.08, and I swapped one land for um, a three drop, and that makes the converted mana cost 2.11, which is where they recommend 23 lands, the calculators, I should say. <laughs> but I was like, nope, I'm gonna stick with 22. Right. I've got the branch walker to explore, um, and I've got the silver gill add up to draw cards, so. Man, double sleeving stacks your deck very yep. tall. All right, looks like a commander deck. Yeah, it does. All right, uh, I'll be on the play again. Yep. Mm, I'll keep this. Okay. I'll try it. Okay. It's not great, key, but we'll do it. Uh, I'm gonna drop Island Pass. Made it a little better. Uh, I'll start with an Island and a Wind Robber. Okay. And pass. Snow Covered Pine, tap two, Shacklegeist, pass. Just, uh, pass this 
Flashing Vodalian Hex Catcher. Alright, um, alright, so what happens on, like, if you play that, can I only play instants from here on out, or? No. So I can just sacrifice Merfolk to counter non-creature spells. Got it. Unless I pay an extra mana. You or... don't, yeah, so, like, it's your choice if you pay one or not. Got it. Um. Okay. It's just, like, a counter spell, but that, the cost instead of paying mana is sacrificing a Merfolk. Got it. So does that resolve it? Yeah, it'll resolve. Okay, go to my um, turn. Not quite yet. Okay. I'm thinking about something. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to tap one. I'm going to enchant it with witness protection. This is all ability. Oh, you can't do that on your end step. Oh, I can't? No. Nope. Got it. Okay, that's what I was asking. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, because that's... Uh, yeah, because you can, you can only do that at sorcery speed. Got it. Okay, that makes sense. All right. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, go to my turn then. Yep. Okay. Play this one on green. Got it. Um, let's see. I'm going to cast a silver gill adept and reveal a merfolk with yeah, power. Got it. Draw a card. Cast that. Okay. Um. I'm trying to think what flash spirits you have. Rattle chains is a two. Combat. That guy. Alright, and I'm getting hit for two. Two. And when it deals damage, you mill a card. Got it. Milled. I don't know if you want to see what I milled. Uh, spirit. Yes. Shock. It's a spirit. Yes. Whoa. Um, and then nothing. Your right. turn. I'm going to pay three. Put down another fable to make another way. This. What is this? Is it just two one at this point? There you go. And I will Got it. Hmm. All right. Well. Well, sorry. It's a three two because of the hex catcher. Yeah. But All right. Well. Now I can do it. Yes, you can do that in your main phase, uh, and you have plenty of mana. So it's a one one. Loses all other abilities. Loses abilities. Cool. It's a legitimate business person. Yes, legitimate business person. And hmm, seems like a tricky matchup for me. I'm not quite sure what to expect from your deck, so I don't know what's happening. <laughs> all fish. Oops, all fish. It's like oops, all land is a deck. Oops, all fish. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm gonna tap to play Shacklegeist, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. and I will pass. You have three cards? Yes. Play a secluded courtyard and name Merfolk. Surprisingly, and, yes. Combat phase. I'll move to combat. Okay. Um, I'll tap this. Attack for three. Got it. I'll take three. You'll melt two cards. Yep. Ooh, ooh, a phantom. Um, um, let's see. Um, so you totally have a snare in hand. Just a futon, I guess. And I guess in these trade, right? Now, to, uh, oh, actually, that's a good question because I would love to Got it. Uh, enters the battlefield, may your turn target tapped creature and controls to its owner's yeah, hand. That's fine. Target shackle based. Yo, what up? It's, you're gonna have to see it. Dang, okay. Sorry, <laughs> kitty cat combo. 
Kitty cat combo I rule against every time. Just oh, no. <laughs> so he activates which is open. Uh-huh. Tap, sacrifice creature, sacks a cat. The cat is in the graveyard as the mm-hmm. abilities are on the stack. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so, yeah. so yeah. in response yeah. to uh, that, we have a stash. Oh, I see. Okay, so and that's the before the, the, the food protein is created. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Before that ability resolves. Cost, uh, Told you, I rule yeah, against the cat. Alright, uh, so, so, so that resolves. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then... Um, I'll pass. Okay. I don't know why, but I can feel a collected company in your hand. You looking at my hand when I, when I walk No, I did something? not, but I can feel like... I, I just feel like it's there. All right, um, okay, hold on, let me read some cards real quick. Mm-hmm. You got all that stuff on the board. Sure, sure. So, what does this do? Nothing now. I can cast it for two more with flash, and then otherwise it returns a tap creature. This mills, and I can sacrifice it to draw a card if you have eight cards in your graveyard. Two, one. Draws a card when it enters. Uh, that's an Ill- <laughs> illegitimate business person. <laughs> and that's, we'll do this, that's that. Got it. Huh. So nothing really does anything now. Um, no. That's why it's a little tricky figuring out what I want to do here. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to tap four, play a Shacklegeist, and another one. And I'll swing at you for two. Yep. Go to 16. And I will do this. I'm wondering if I could have, like, killed the cat and then, like, made a food token as a response to the trying to exile the graveyard. But, yeah, it's probably cat. It's what I'm also going to name Merfolk for that one. Got it. Okay. Good to know you're not naming something else. Yeah. So this can only block flyers, of which I have two. And then sacrifice that food token. Yeah. 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 End step. I think I'm gonna uh, move to combat. Okay. No abilities. Uh, nope. I will attack. Um, for four. Five. Two, two, one. Oh, got it. Yep. Uh, yep. Second main. Oh, good. There it is. Tap that for one blue. I meant to play this last turn. Another wind robber. Got it. Um, and then I'll pass. All right. I like forgot that the card in hand. Was oh no. Go ahead. Oh, uh, sorry. I was gonna tap these now to just tap, tap one. Yeah. All right. I forgot like going over there and coming back. I forgot the card that I was gonna cast was two blue and I didn't have two blue <laughs> up. So I should have just cast the other one. It's okay. Discard a card, draw a card. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna tap one and. Huh. This ticks up to three. This is a tricky situation for me. I guess. I'm gonna make one of these an also illegitimate business person. I think I'm going to try to pay Or is it legitimate? It's legitimate, but okay. I, I said illegitimate. <laughs> Man. Okay. And you're just holding up that Geist Light snare, huh? <laughs> this is tricky, because I don't want to swing in with everything, because I think I just lose the game if I do that. Nothing. I don't have any lords out. They're all just normal power toughness. I know. You, you wit, wit sucked my, my lord. Yeah, but six damage doesn't really get me that much closer to winning the game. That's true. So. I, I, oh, wait, no, he doesn't have flying. I was like, I could actually double block, but. I'm yeah. gonna swing for two. 14. And I pass. All right, on your end step. I'm gonna tap that for a blue. Okay. Casting Merfolk. Yep. Casting yeah, Merfolk yeah, yeah. Trickster. It lets me fix when it this. enters, tap target creature and opponent controls and it loses all abilities. I'll target that. If it resolves. Yeah. 
I think it's just a three four. Is that uh, forever or just so. just right now? It would untap during your huh. and it only loses its abilities until the end of your Okay. I yeah, I, I guess that's fine. Alright, so then go to my turn. Yes. I feel like you got something much scarier in your hand. So it loses okay. all abilities. Um, loses all the colors, card types, creatures. No, it's not a bulk anymore. So I can't use those to activate the ability. I feel like the I don't know. <laughs> Feels like every card you're playing is the bait. <laughs> it's fish. Everything's bait. <laughs> That's a really strong card, and I feel like it I can't is, just lit it, it. It also gets out of hand really fast with the counters. Yeah, I'm gonna. I don't really think I have a choice. And I want to read that. Does say oh yeah, go ahead. Right. Okay. And I don't have three because I didn't draw land. Um, I will go to combat. Yep. Can he tap? No, you can't tap. He tap. I'm sorry. Well, I mean, I would have. Two, four, five, oh, six, right. eight, nine. Yeah, yeah, if I right. swing there, I lose a robber. Put you to one. Yeah. one is <laughs> Fourteen. These are blood tokens. We should be red. I don't have a red guy. Oh, gotcha. I'll, I'll kill a robber. Yeah. And I mill one. You mill one for that one hitting you. Yep. And then you take a one, two, nine, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Go to one. And then pass. Okay. Yeah, the crackback uh, would have been nasty. Would have been nasty if you didn't do that. Yeah. Although I will show you that I had the. Company, I knew it. And I was waiting until you emptied your hand because I figured you had the snare. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that was a tricky matchup for me. Yeah. I. Oh, yeah. So knows. the issue I think is that all I have is creatures and more creatures, and you actually have some spells. Yeah. So like, and I feel like a fading hope could have helped a lot. Yeah. Bouncing stuff. I mean, and like that's what a lot of my creatures do is like this taps, this bounces. So just like trying to get in chip damage here and there. Yeah. And then if if that resolved, I would have just passed, buffed all the merfolk. Yeah, and I would have just been yeah. dead. But good games. Yeah. 